guys, so today I wanted to show you how I make literally the best banana bread and it's super easy, super simple, and I um, do add walnuts, so if you're allergic, clearly you don't have to do that. So here we go, we're going to start with three very ripe mashed bananas, yum yum. So you want to do very ripe bananas, you can ha have two large bananas or three smaller bananas. So next I'm going to add some butter, it's melted butter, I'm going to go ahead and give that a stir. Make sure that's really well incorporated. I'm gonna add an egg, half a cup of sugar. Um, you can add however much sugar you want. You can go up to a cup if you really want it sweet. I just do half a cup because the bananas really do add a lot of sweetness. Perfect. I'm gonna do. A pinch of salt, bring up the flavor, some baking soda, make sure that's all nice and incorporated, some vanilla extract, Oop. a lot of vanilla extract, I love vanilla extract, I love vanilla, so I am kind of generous with them. Next, we add the flour. Ooh, I'm just gonna add it all. At this point, I am gonna add walnuts as well. Again, this is an optional step if you want. I love walnuts. Um, so I'm gonna add about a cup. If you see a large piece, feel free to break it apart because, you know, either way you're going to be slicing it, so they're going to be sliced right through. So go ahead and mix all that together. You can also add chocolate chips if you want. I've done that before. It's very rich. So if you don't like something super rich, uh, I wouldn't do that. But if you are going to add chocolate chips, Add really good quality chocolate, otherwise it's just going to ruin it. If you don't want to eat the chocolate by itself, please do not put it in any of your baking goods. I just... It just doesn't taste good. Alright, so now I'm gonna, just going to fold it in together. Like so. And that is should look. It looks pretty good. So I'm going to add the batter to my pan. I've already greased the pan and I floured it. I really like it when I flour it. It just turns out really well. Um, you don't have to flour if you don't want to, but I like it. Make sure it is greased because you want to be able to get everything out. for about 55 minutes or until uh, toothpick comes out clean. So we'll go ahead and put that in. And um, I'll see you in a bit. So the banana bread is out. It looks gorgeous. And it smells amazing. I did let it cool for about 20 minutes or so. Um, I ran a knife along the sides to make sure it's not sticking. Now I'm going to just go ahead and invert it. Ta-da! Beautiful. Oh, it smells so good. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and cut. Super, super yummy. Mmm. 
That is really good. Obviously, I have the banana flavor. The nuts really bring it home, in my opinion. If you're allergic to nuts, obviously don't put them in, but if you're not, don't skip this step because it really makes a huge difference. So freaking good. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!